this weekend. KSHB 41 News anchor Ray Daniel highlights a fashion show happening tomorrow. The models in this particular show have taken brave steps beyond the runway. Let's see the front. Let's see the front. Oh, oh okay. it's almost time for these models to take the stage, getting their outfits ready at 79 rows. And I like being fabulous. <laughs> Although dressed in different styles, these women share a similar story. Call my primary doctor. They set up a new mammogram, ultrasound, all that kind of thing. And it was, it was cancer. It was rapidly growing. I had mono triple negative third stage breast cancer, which grew from the size of a golf ball to a tennis ball over the heart within two weeks. Both were diagnosed with breast cancer, going through radiation and chemotherapy. Chemo is no joke. Um, it took me down. I had a double mastectomy, a tummy tuck, skin graft. It's that fight Vicki and Melinda are bringing awareness to and walking the runway with eight other survivors. And they have to learn to love and accept, you know, the new change, whether it's a scar from chemo or it could be like weight gain or different things. And they're loving their bodies, right? Just as they are. These are beautiful women, very beautiful women. And that they're, they're celebrating their life celebration and strength, things Vicki says she can do because of her support. Who just stepped in, it was there with me, sat with me when I needed just someone to sit with me. They've been there and I just thank them. So yes, these are survivors of breast cancer, but they are so much more than those two words. I'm fierce and I'm an overcomer. We all have scars, but our scars help us to tell our story. Our scars say, hey, we were in a battle, we won the fight, we survived, so can you. You were great! <laughs> Vicki and Melinda were absolutely incredible to talk to. The fashion show is from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. tomorrow at Grace Baptist Church. That's at 8524 Blue Ridge Boulevard. The event is free. And if you're interested in a mammogram, you can actually send an email to this contact, MissDoris0471 at gmail.com. Like I said earlier, they will be providing mammograms for women and they'll need some information from you. So go ahead and contact that person. We'll also have that on our website at KSHB.com. And the organizer, who is a retired nurse, she's a part of the Black Nurses Association. She says the biggest thing I want people to take away is just being an advocate for yourself, yeah. get yourself checked out, um, and just sharing the message of those breast cancer survivors is just so powerful, you know. It's so. a great story, right? And just on the eve of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, getting ready to start in October, so yeah. it's, it's really, really something. And you never think that you're, of course, acknowledging how awful it is, but we get so numb like not realizing what they go through yeah. right right and so they put it in perspective in a great yeah. way right yeah. thank you thank, thank you, you. Right.